What's going on you guys? It's Tony Alati at Casa Esmeralda and today it's day three on the installation of my DJXL gate. Uh, 26 Celsius and very humid. I am just dripping in sweat. It wasn't like yesterday. Uh, the weather has been really mild here actually in the Adriatic. So let's kind of get to it. Uh, Lucky seems to like the hole I dug because the ground here is very hard so I just watered everything down and it was a lot easier to get in um, but Lucky you're gonna have to move now sweetie Lucky go go so I got the the toe stop there's a bunch of names for this but I, I'm gonna call it a toe stop today or the pin stop I got that in here now uh, I just put I dug a hole in the ground and I've put like one of these blocks in here that I had from, from my uh, root cellar left over and then I'm just gonna pour some cement and put a little mound make like a little mound there so it, you know somebody knows there's a hole there and not to drive over it and things like that so it's just a little bit above the ground a few centimeters and that's the way I want it and everything worked out fine okay there's nothing really wrong with the gate today it's to my liking I wanted to say that the steel posts so these ones here are these ones I picked these up they didn't come with the they didn't come with the gate at all I picked these ones up at the building center he charges me per kilo. The posts were six and a half kilos and it was 27 euros for the posts for both of them, which is actually a really good deal on metal and steel. It's not galvanized, so I am still gonna have to paint this and go buy galvanized paint. If I buy the metal here galvanized, it's actually about 30% more, so the paint is actually less. I just need to do some painting. The reason why I did this with the posts is because I looked at these posts alone and if I would have put these posts in the ground just with the fencing, I don't think it would have been strong enough or anything. So that's why and right now this is, right now this is, and I can use like a wire to attack this and things like that. There are several methods and options uh, when the blacksmith does come, I'll talk to him and see what we can do maybe to get this all this this post here a little bit stronger so maybe he had a post or something or I could have gotten galvanized post but I'm just not into the metal work and the blacksmith thing of drilling and and cutting I just really want to install this gate and get onto my veggie garden planting and and it is the season and everything like that so But in all, um, I just, I like the style now. Um, I've had several, a few people drive by this morning and that, and they're all looking and they say they like the style, they like how it is and everything, right? So, so it's just a matter of me just mixing up a half a bag of cement here and then making a little bit of a mound and then that's basically done. And I kind of just put the dirt and stuff here. This will all sort of go down. It will go back to white. After the rain comes, it will just wash everything back to its normal white of clay and really hard rock around here. It's really hard to dig, especially this, this part of my driveway here. So... So in all, I would say if there was two people working at it, you could probably do it in a day and a half. Uh, if there was one person like me doing this alone, uh, it would be two full days work. I have not put every hour from like 8 o'clock till 6 p.m. or something like that later on into the day to install this gate myself. But so far, I am very happy with the project. There's probably some stuff I need to get, like a postal box now. And, 
you know, just like some name or like get like a insignia or something made from the blacksmith, like Casa Esmeralda. All these things you can do with a gate and stuff. But it's planting season and I wanted to get this in and then when my stuff grows at least I have a gate so people aren't jumping over into my garden and taking stuff and things like that. So I just have more security. Uh, if I have time today, I'm going to roll out. I have some extra fencing. And I'm just going to put fencing here. I'm going to put fencing along the back of it. I get some, some chicken wire tie and I just tie the fencing. And I cut where it is so the gate will open and close accordingly. So you'll probably see that in the next video. And the dogs are don't like the humidity at all today. And they're just taking big long naps and waiting for the big neighbor dogs to come by and just having a nice time actually. Bruno is really getting big. In the last month he's grown like a few centimeters. A few centimeters a week now. He's gonna get as big as, as Lottie and Simona here. Anyways, going back to my gate. So there it is with the pin stop in there and uh, it's a matter of me now pouring cement uh, mixing cement it would be like 20 minutes and then clean up and things like that and a lot of people don't like pouring cement they buy the foam everything like that but I am a cement person I don't mind doing it and the cement here is actually really Italian cement is really good and I really uh, like mixing this type of cement and it's it's really easy to mix uh, take me about six minutes for a half a bag and I'll be done within an hour and clean up and I'll be probably rolling out this fence so I really want to get started on that today and just get this project out of the way and then done and then work on my garden because my irrigation kit for my back garden here the garden that's way in the back actually arrived so that's all on the next videos um, coming up and planting and things like that but it looks beautiful with these olive trees here so and then the dogs won't be getting out uh, the chickens tried to get out yesterday uh, so I'm gonna put chicken wire around the back and then tie it to the fence and that sort of thing so make this place all secure I'm a little bit behind, yeah, because I had to do a fix up on one of my tables that came with the house. So I fixed one of the legs and put a bolt in there and did some screwing and everything here is just growing. Even the seeded stuff is just growing now, it's germinating. So uh, it's not a very hot summer as it was last year. Anyways, um, yeah, I just gotta go in my root cellar because I can't see on the computer screen here. Okay, there we are. So, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel, Tony and Lottie Cass Esmeralda. Please do comment or if you want to come and visit and stay here. Uh, I got hammocks out. The Canadian guys that came here, well, they really liked it. And, uh, okay, so... Thank you very much for everything and those who are sending me messages and those who are liking my channel or sending comments or have subscribed and bye for now.